So another really quick Python lesson today. Um, let's just pop open this document and this uh, terminal right here. So today we're going to learn how to get the current directory in Python. So this is super, super simple, super easy. Let's just run our Python interpreter. Now this would be the same thing if you were in an actual script. Now you're, we're going to need um, to import OS first. Import OS gives you a bunch of OS functions. Now you can say OS dot get CWD, right? And that will give you your current directory. So I'm in users, user one, test two. So, um, you know, if you want to change directory, you, you could also do that. Um, oh yeah, and if you were running this from a script, you would actually have to print this out or um, you could assign it to a variable. So you could, you could say print, you know, if, you, if you're actually running this from the script and not the interpreter, or you could save it to a variable, however you want to do it. Um, anyways, let's let's real quick show you how to change directory. Now this this should fail because this directory doesn't exist. So that you'll get an error if the directory doesn't exist. Um, so kind of related functionality to show you. So we could go to users, user one, right? So we can change back to our home directory. Um, and then let's see, get current directory. We're in user one. Now we could change to test two with Python, right? And get current directory, we're in the test two directory, right? So that, that's all fine and great. Um, now that's that's how you would do that in a, you know, a Mac OS or a Linux or Unix environment. Now the path is gonna look a tiny bit different on Windows. So Windows, the slashes go the other way, right? And you're gonna specify the drive number, right? Now this, this will not work here because I'm, I'm recording this video on a Mac, but um, on Windows, you might go to say the C drive, and um, yeah, this directory is probably not gonna. You know, actually, these days I forget how use what what the user directory is on on Windows, but it definitely used to be different from this. Um, I forget if that's a valid path, but anyways, um, yes, you're gonna specify a drive number. The slashes go the other way, and you actually need to escape the slashes because they're a special character. So you have to you know you have to use an escape character like this. Anytime you use a slash, you actually need two slashes. That's how it would work for Windows. We're not using Windows, but that's how you would do it. So hopefully that covers everything you would want to know about this and maybe a little bit more. Hopefully you found it useful. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button though, because we have better content than this coming out. I mean, we have some simple things like this. We have more advanced stuff too. We also cover coding, um, servers, um, electronics, Raspberry Pis, 3D printers, networking, just, you know, hardware, software, ton of great um, and a ton of great tech stuff that's going to make your YouTube feed all that much better. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get an alert when we come out with new videos. And more important than any of that, just leave a comment down below. If you know something I don't know, if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And um, that's, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.